Evil Genius 2. <laughs> Mega Rich Megalomaniac, Maximilian. Heavy Muscle Madman, Scientific Mastermind, Red Ivan, Zalika, and Emma. Ex Spy Master turned Poison Pro. Music is definitely very James Bondy, which is clearly what it's trying to do with this. But let's take a look at um, classes. What do the four classes do? Cool music. Uh, is this a new game we're trying today? Today is all about new games. Today is a tryout day. Checking out four games today. I'm expecting to like at least one of them. Nice. Battlefield Basics and Simple Skirmish seem good. 12 seconds later. I've mastered the fundamentals of Titan combat. All right, do I get to customize the mech? Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna build a, I don't know what you call a, like a gaggle of mechs. What's the plural of mech? Like, not, not like mechs, but like, what is a group of mechs called? Voltron? Yes. Okay, I can mess with their weapons. The Crusade, a lance, a lance is correct. Oh, it might be called a crusade in the Warhammer universe. That, that might be true too. I don't know. Can I rename it? Can't rename it. What is this? <laughs> no, no confirmation if you want to quit. Sure. All right, we'll bring these out. I have no idea if I think save for sure. Wait, save is start? I assume save would save. Do I, can I see the- no one is safe from the touch of chaos. Huh, that's a bit creepy. 77, 77, 76. Is this him shooting me? I don't think so. I think that's us shooting him. All right. We'll try cinematic camera for the shooting because it was a request and we'll turn it off again after. Kill. I mean, it's more interesting there, although I can't see if any of those are hitting the target. There we go. No damage numbers. I have no idea if any of those hit. All right. Cinematic camera off. Jet, anytime you guys don't like graphics in a game, the only response is, it looks like a mobile game. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, this doesn't feel like a mobile layout to me, but maybe. Like, you think you're gonna be doing this on your phone? Maybe. Kill. What was that noise? Laser gun. Dude, I like, I like the animation on the beam. Looks, sounds impactful, though. Dude, we're stressing him out. He's stressed. Dude, he's 100% stressed, but none of our weapons were in range to do any damage, so that's kind of weird. That's good. And there is an open unit data chat. I just didn't find it earlier. So we can figure out what the fuck's going on. So we have 60 range. Kill. All right. Yeah. I don't know what these green X's are. Are they hits? It could be combat efficiency too, right? So again, like the two things we're expecting, I'm expecting there's a hit roll. And I'm expecting that based on all the way the weapons are described in the menus and the initial tutorial, I'm expecting that there's also a damage reduction calculation. Although to be fair, all the enemies so far don't have armor on that I can tell. They just instantly die the first time I connect with a target. We're pretty close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play out the skirmish, call it a test of this game. Although look, so this guy's just blocking all of my shots by being fat and in the way. So maybe I do wanna clump up. I wanna put the guys with armor in front of the guys without armor. He just ran over me. I don't know if that was a melee attack or if he just literally pathed into me. Is my guy dead? My guy is dead. Oh no, he's not dead yet. I don't know what's happening here. They're dancing? All right. Recurring animation noise, main menu, one by annihilation. Okay. All right. I can uninstall that game. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what, wait, wait, wait. all right. What is this fucking game called? Okay. Normally we do a slightly better job about vetting this, but this one kind of like snuck in because it was such like a clear fit for us. This game was called Titanus Dominus. Let's take a look at the store page real quick. Uh, release date, March 26th, 2021. Mixed reviews. Recent reviews mixed, all reviews mostly positive. I don't think very much of that game from what I just played. There's almost no way that I would want to ever play that game again without massive changes to what it was. There doesn't seem to be much of a game there. And um, the interface is clunky, the fights are clunky, the hits don't look good, the game doesn't look particularly good. There were a number of like little visual bugs already there. The customization wasn't very good. It just really wasn't much of something that I would probably spend time with again without some major changes to it. So, but trying to do our due diligence, take a look for interesting games coming out of it. Uh, we're gonna check out Goblin Stone next. Turn-based 40K uh, mech fighting absolutely should be a no-brainer. All right, I know I turned down the volume of this this morning, but it seems to be quite loud again. 
The game is in development, you're about to play a demo. Uh, some features will not be available, share complete next. Okay. After a long journey abroad, your company of goblins has finally returned to their homeland. Guide them safely to their lair. This looks like Smurfs. Oh boy. Whatever you say, Papa. Can we talk to him? All right, combat it is. Caught off guard. Places for battle. Combat's turn-based. Everyone falls in line to attack. Kill all the enemies to win the battle. Okay. Everyone will move to the center along this time bar. Undamage, inflict bleed, and deal two damage. All right, the bleed better be huge because we only did two instead of ten. He's tired. Okay. All right, next goblin's up. We can't first blood because already made What's wakey wakey? Okay. I like it. We used our high damage dealers first. Everyone has equal armor, and now the peons are tanking him. So, did he take a bleed damage? Do we just hit him? Do I have a combat log? Suffers 12 physical damage over 50 time units. How much is this? Is this 5 time units? 10, 15, 20? Yeah. How much damage is he taking? 12 over 50? Doesn't seem very good. It feels like I probably should have just hit him. I mean, maybe. He's bleeding, I guess. Blood rupture. I don't remember having this. Maybe it only unlocks now that he's bleeding. If the enemy is bleeding, remove the bleed and deal 10 damage. Plus 200% of undealt bleed damage. So it just like uses the rest of the bleed, I see. Okay. His quarry watches you from behind iron bars. So we healed after, no, we didn't heal after combat, okay. I can't loot him? Oh, I can. Food stuffs, medium adventure stuffs. So how do I heal him? I heal from inventory. All right, I don't wanna heal peons. I don't care if they fucking die. That's why they're called peons. Rescue, absolutely. Another one joins their company. This fellow is clad in armor. Okay, we have another goblin. Concealed by the stench, a small troll of unclaimed meat and giblets. Yep, harvest carcass, good work, take all. Scavenge to the bone, leaving nothing to waste. All right, so it's like one interaction per map. So I don't know if they always attack front or not. I may not want the guard going first. I may want him going like third or something. So he's in front. Try, let's try that. Okay. Humans have taken the main. The road ahead will not be easy. Smack or stone throw. Targets enemies at the back. Throw a stone at the enemy, inflicting a stun and three damage. Can only target enemies in the back. Okay. All right, what is stun? Does it move them back in the turn? So I did one. I did do that right, but I just did it. I did a. Which one was a little bit wrong? Wakey, wakey. Enemy is stunned. Do a million damage. 10 for 20 or 27 for 30. Okay. Get fucked, shabby adventurer. Just saying. All right. This is our new unit, the guard. We've got bash, retaliate, and intercept. But don't they only attack the front? I guess some of the units can attack other locations. Can I see what the guards do by hovering maybe? Armor and resist only. Except the next two target attacks of the target enemy. Who's which though? That's Shabby Adventurer and that's Ragged Adventurer. So Shabby's next. But we go before him. Although this could be, okay yeah, our guy goes. We're gonna kill that one, we're gonna intercept this one. Okay. I guess I wanna retaliate, intercept is probably the combo there. Goblins gain ground. Okay. What does this thing do? This eyeball? Oh, watched, I see. Dude, one doesn't do this. Why isn't one the hotkey for that? Why do I have to click it? Demo, I guess. 
It'd be hard to lose these fights right now. This captive is garbed in peculiar vestments. It appears quite grateful and joins the group. Do we get a warlock goblin or is that a rock star goblin? Let's find out. A squad ranger. Oh, that's his name. I can rename them. How oh, neat. Okay. Looks, it looks pretty fun. I have to see if the combat gets really boring or if it's fun. Because okay, this is the party. So party caps at size 6. We have additional goblins sitting in the roster. Is there going to be a jump option again? Always down. Wait. We just had this map. Is this the second version of that map? I think it might have been. So it looked like it reused the same map art there. I hadn't noticed if it had done that previously. It probably had. This is a dead end. Okay, cool. In the sense that then I guess I do you think there's an actual map. There's no like interface that like if I hit escape, I don't get an interface, right? So there's no interface that's like show you controls. So there might be a map and I just haven't found the button for it. I don't know. Features still in development. So, okay. So they intend to have a map. We just don't have it available yet. I see. Maybe the big map button. Oh, I got stuck chat. I can't back out of here. Easy bug. Good game. Alt F4. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, game seemed fun. I would absolutely check more that out more. Um, clearly in development still. So maybe we we either wait to a release or like an early um, early access build. It looks like they have a lot of interesting features. It clearly isn't done. That's the demo. It's a demo before early access. I'm fine with that. As a product, that product looked more finished than the game we played before that. I mean, quite honestly, I'm not at all upset to find a bug in a demo. I don't care. But is a I would like to see things. So, I mean, it looks like a lot in there, right? There's recruitment, there's genes, there's breeding, there's class upgrades, there were building upgrades. That looks good, man. I'm pretty excited about that, that title, actually. That was pretty cool. King Arthur Knight's Tale. Wake up, knight. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. She... It will all become clear yep. soon. Hung. You Fucking were bird. fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king. You have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Looks visually beautiful so far. I mean, cutscene clearly. Terrible armies. You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. You have killed King Arthur, and with his dying breath, down. They killed, e we killed each other. And yet, you both live. You oh. have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. Are we the bad guys I in this game? I brought you back to end this nightmare. Fuck. So I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Yeah! Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Sick intro. So it's control to inspect. Guy has five AP. So we have two more AP than all the enemies. All the enemies have five so far. Which means they can only move two tiles and attack. Except the crossbow. 
And then we're going to swing once fight. here. And again. And we're getting fucked here. What's potion cost me? 50% HP. We have cleave. Yes. What was the cost on cleave? Three. So it's a little, we need, I, I hope we get like, I hope these characters level up in the things they can do. Like I can pick out of like ability trees and stuff. Cause I like, I immediately want to have something that lets me get out of zone of control, right? I'm not okay. even out of breath. Fights are so easy. Kind of like that not every mob drops something, you know? The over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? And then there's two faces, one of which looks like a boar face, and one of which looks like a lion face. Now, I don't know about you, chat, but if I were resurrected as an evil undead knight, I guess that was supposed to be the Lady of the Lake, some female sorceress kind of thing. I probably would listen. It just feels like the person who controls my existence might be someone you at least take into account their wants and desires. I mean, I'm gonna take this top one because it's a fucking demo, but I'm just saying, like, this one makes a lot more sense. She's already cast the spell? Maybe, maybe she's channeling it. Maybe she just snaps her fingers, stops channeling it, and we get unsummoned, who the fuck knows? All right, we definitely leveled up there. But meanwhile, I have a new realm to build and an old enemy to kill. Level ups? Chat, this game is... I'm getting goosebumps playing this game. It looks so good, man. All right, potions. Scroll of potions. We should get a potion of scrolls too, and we can just alternate which ones we use. Okay, no curse, no injury. So you can, that means we can be cursed and injured, both of which are cool uh, components of a game. Gain gold and building resources. They're gonna be base building as well. Oh, chat, this looks amazing. I'm a mixed mind about this. I like that there is a morality system and I like that it has repercussions. That's cool. And I like that you can see what those repercussions are because a lot of times the repercussions of the morality decisions are hidden from you. But I'm not sure that, but the problem is I need these to be well balanced and they, maybe they are, maybe they aren't, I don't know. But like, if it turns out like neutral good is always the best fucking one because it has the most powerful payoffs, it's gonna be kind of annoying. So that's Christian, old faith, tyrant, rightful. So we're like down in this category somewhere. Game looks good, man. Let's hope it turns out as well as it could be with this. And we're definitely gonna pick, we're gonna definitely gonna check this out on channel at some point. I just will have to wait until it gets a bit more uh, content, I think, for this. And I want a difficulty setting because the, although all of the surrounding structures look fun, the leveling, the the map design, the camera transitions, the the actual fighting style was fine. The most boring part was combat because there didn't seem to be any real decisions. Like I was never punished for anything I did or particularly rewarded. Right? Can I look at the new classes? Sure. We've got a, another marksman, another defender. So these are existing. That's a new class. Vanguard's different. So there's at least four classes in the game. All right, uh, but I am ready to be done with this for today. Uh, so that was pretty. That was pretty cool. I give that one really high marks. Looking forward to seeing what comes out of it. Evil Genius Two. <laughs> Mega Rich Megalomaniac Maximilian. Heavy Muscle Madman. Scientific Mastermind. Red Ivan, Zalika, and Emma. Ex Spy Master turned Poison Pro. Music is definitely very James Bondy, which is clearly what it's trying to do with this. But let's take a look at um, classes. What do the four classes do? Okay. Uh, shut up. All right, I'm not reading his because he's too noisy. Do it now. Order minions to prioritize jobs in Red Ivan's vicinity. Additionally, any nearby minions receive a combat boost. These are his abilities, old school. You're still making noise. I just turned you off. I don't know what that is. I want to just read what they're saying, but it keeps interrupting me as I'm reading through it. Uh, what do you guys want? Science or Spy Master? Spy, 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 Science, Red Ivan, Spy, Spy, Spy. All right, Spy it is. All right. Exclusive, isolated... Oh, hold on a minute. Was there anything else? Were there two things? There's a biography. Let's read through. Emma, ex-Spy Master. Specialization, deception. Threat level, high. Phone annoyance, high. She was a spy master who saved the world countless times until the day she failed. When the overlo While the overlord ruled, she marshaled her resources and prepared for afterwards. But when order was restored, the world slid back into its status quo. She was horrified, then furious, then resolute. The world didn't need her to save it. It needed her to end it. It's gonna be a spider chair. We love spider chairs. 
I did play Dungeon Keeper back in the day. That's why I was so disappointed with Evil Genius 1, because it didn't hold up at all to Dungeon Keeper. Dungeon Keeper was way better. <laughs> Move the mouse up or down. Okay. Hold on. Who do you think you are giving me instructions like that? I I'm here to help by telling you exactly what to do next in a friendly and helpful manner. That you're here to do everything I say. Why isn't her mouth moving? Correct. Step one. Tell us what you want, and the minions will do it. New main objective available. Offers a small amount of... Stores a small amount of gold, All right. It's best not to leave your gold sitting in the open. Add a door to your vault. Once you are done, select confirm to give the order to your minions. Wait for your minions to install the door before moving on. So they act or like Dungeon Keeper. So there's a vault right there. Seems questionable for a vault location. Yeah. The camera, it's backwards to how I normally camera rotate. So it feels like I keep trying to go the opposite direction when I go to QE. &E. It's like opposite the game I just played. I'm trying to build a, it's the wrong room type. Is it, oh, is this the, wait, is it though? Objective available. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Or power. Head to the world stage to recruit a scientist. Alright, so that's good. Need more of this. If you would actually do I don't know. I'm going to dislike this interface. I can't target right now. Don't know why. Randomly hit confirm all. Doesn't help anything. Go back to this. This is supposed to be digging of that type and it won't let me. No, no understanding why it won't. Is it because I'm now tutorial locked again? Probably. Yup. Select a scientist scheme. Special schemes are often highlighted on the world stage with colored signs. Keep your eyes open for these important schemes. How do I know what what? Oh, this thing. A new criminal network has been established. No. That thing? No. Where's the science thing? Okay, force me onto the map. I can't start the scheme until I have power fixed in my base, which is what I was fucking doing when it forced me onto this goddamn map. Okay. That's not a different color. Well, maybe it's a different color. If that's a different color, it's really hard to tell. I can see the darker one. I guess this is slightly darker there, and that's why I can't dig it. Okay. It's like one tile. All right, so we got scammed by that power plant location. We could have, should have built some somewhere else. All right. Do I just maybe play it without tutorial? You're better off starting over free from tutorial. I'm, I'm concerned that if I don't complete the fucking tutorial, the next time I start one, it's gonna tutorial me again. And I have to do it all over again. That's what I'm concerned about. Because at the moment, I feel like I'm just doing a series of uh, meaningless tasks that I have no interest in doing, and I would actually like to explore the game for a minute and get a sense of what the hell's going on. You can turn it off on the difficulty setting. Maybe we can do that. All right, then maybe we don't. So the answer is we've learned a bunch of things. Maybe we start one without the tutorial and see if it's any fun. <sighs> I thought the tutorial in the last game was done really well. And the tutorial in the um, Goblin game was okay too. This tutorial and the tutorial in the first game we did today is pretty rough. Game isn't that fun overall, it's just okay. You have to be charmed by the look jokes to fit this game. You regret buying it? Well, that's not a good a good take on it. I don't know if I'm there. I, I need more information than this. This isn't enough information to tell. Are the schemes fun? What are the objectives? What is interacting with agents like? I assume that's going to happen. How do I win? So like Dungeon Keeper was about um, defeating the, I think it was about defeating the hero. I remember the campaign. There were objectives in the campaign. I don't remember what this is. There's a lot of workers. The workers seem kind of person, uh, zero personality right now. There's a bunch of stuff on them. If I look like, if you click on a worker, it says things, but I don't know. This has been kind of medium for me so far. Fun parts are designing traps. To design, a lot of the base design requires that you know what the hell is going on. It's a weird room. Maybe I'll play around with it a little bit offline and make some decisions about it if I want to play it on stream and all. I need to poke around with it a bit and the tutorial is driving me nuts. So I probably what I need to do is play it without the tutorial. All right. Okay. I think today was pretty successful. We did what we wanted to accomplish. Check out some new games. Found at least two games we're willing to check out later. This game I'm not sure about yet. I'll have to come back and think about it. Play a little bit offline maybe. It's multiple floors on top of the rock. Page up or down. Oh no, I don't want a multi-layered. I don't want a multi-layered dungeon. 
Too much issue to manage. Okay. All right. Either way, I think I am okay with locked in the tutorial. <laughs> the tutorial is a curse. I mean, it's 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 good to it, it's like wants to walk me through everything I can do in the game one at a time, and I guess that's a little bit useful for getting some sense of it. But it's like the pacing and like the weird way it's kind of off-putting. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna be done today. So uh, yeah, I don't know. That went pretty well today. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming out for the uh, tryout day. I know it's a little bit different, so we're not playing the same games all the time. Uh, but it is fun to explore, look for uh, upcoming titles. And if there are games you guys want to suggest to check out on the channel, there's always the Discord channel to do that with. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.